Battleship, basically two hours of explosion porn. I'm really starting to fear that scriptwriters and producers in Hollywood have lost the ability to imitate common sense. So many things in this movie like defy the laws of reason and logic for the sake of movie conventions. Now I understand you could use the excuse that well I just want to see a movie and turn off my brain. I don't care how deep this turning off of the brain goes, there are some things that you should notice. There are some things that should give you pause. Now unlike a lot of other people, I really went into this with all the goodwill in the world. I did not hold it against Battleship that it was based on some silly board game. I just wanted to see a good alien invasion movie. But most of that goodwill was lost in the first 20 or 30 minutes in which nothing happens. But the movie does insist on trying to make the main character of Alex Hopper, played by Taylor Kitsch, likable. They fail miserably. This guy is an unlikable jerk one minute and a complete pussy in the next. He's a totally bipolar character. And it also doesn't help that you put Taylor Kitsch, who is an average height guy, he's not short, he's average height, next to Alexander Skarsgård, who towers over everybody. And on one hand you have the height difference and then you have the fact that the character has such an aggressive mean streak that it really does look like this Hopper fellow has a really, really harsh Napoleonic complex. But once the action starts, it really does start. And it pretty much never stops. You can tell that actually some pretty smart people went into, worked on this project along with some pretty dumb people or just lazy that didn't really care that much. I say that because I actually liked the aliens' strategy and how uh, they went about destroying the infrastructure, destroying the weapons, uh, the supply of weapons that the humans have. It's actually a pretty smart strategy. But the movie manages to destroy that for me too because so much of the action is based on the aliens being too stupid or too lazy to destroy the humans when they have every opportunity to do so. Given that this is their way of thinking, and given that they do have such advanced technology, it really makes no sense that they would allow the human race to survive past like five minutes of their arrival on the planet. Imagine if you're really, really hungry, like, you know, that level of hunger, where you don't even have energy to feel hunger anymore, you just feel like there's this black hole inside your stomach and you're like incomplete without food. And suddenly a big, juicy, delicious burger appears in you with like onions and cheese and all that stuff. And a fly lands on it. Now, do you swap the fly away or do you just let it stand there until it flies away on its own? But something that I really loved about Battleship is that they implicated people in the story that you normally don't see put up a fight in action movies. There's a character in here that has a handicap. He's a war veteran that lost both of his legs and he walks around on uh, prosthetic, prosthetic legs and he's the one that has the best one-on-one -on -one fight with an alien in the movie. He basically walks up to this alien that's like twice his size wearing heavy-duty armor and you know he's like it's some. Um, it took some balls to do that. Also at some point in the movie they have to rely on some very on a very old battleship to keep fighting the aliens and the only people that can still operate this battleship from like the Second World War are the war veterans that are like in their 70s or 80s. So you basically have the army of retired people going into battle. And I love that. I love those little things because you know it shows that when there is a threat to the human race you don't just send in the Taylor Kitches and the Rihannas of the world. You know everybody needs to do their part. Even the people who are either crippled or old. Even the people that would we would believe are too weak to fight. And it also goes to show that, you know, once a soldier, always a soldier. So in conclusion, Battleship really had some smart, meaningful elements in there, but they just got lost in an ocean of act stupid action movie conventions and glaring plot holes and inconsistencies. 
that after I walked out of the theater room, I thought that maybe this was kind of like, it was on the same level as Wrath of Titans because I did enjoy it somewhat. But now thinking about it, no, I did not have as many problems with Wrath of Titans as I had with this one.